Vocab Malone. Give me proof that the Edomites were done away with as a people. All Edomites. That there's not one Edomite left on the planet Earth. Give me the proof. You made that statement. You said that many times that the Edomites were done away with. I want the proof. Anyway, I'm coming back to uh, this video I put up last night. Uh, Vocab Malone says slavery is okay. Um, anyway, uh, this is at uh, 6 minute and 28 second mark of a 30 minute and 30 second video and this is what he says I'm gonna put this up raw let's listen and I'm gonna come back and say what I gotta say do the spirit God regulates the reality we live in there's rules for war in the Bible there's rules for people who die widows so we live in a fallen order slavery is part of that so the Bible regulates it in a way that uh, is, is, is superior with the trajectory towards ultimately eliminating it. Is you <laughs> Not going to be eliminated. These people are going to be enslaved under us forever. That's the order. Anyway, he said uh, there's rules for war in war in the Bible. So what came to mind when I, when I heard him make, this, make that statement was uh what is the rule when uh you take down another nation the israelites taking down another nation what is the law as far as the young women the women of the other nations that you took down what do you do with them Let's go to the law. What is that? Deuteronomy. Let me type that in. I believe that's Deuteronomy. I believe that's 21. And he said it. He said it. I think vocab is coming around. He, after, in a little while, he'll start saying, you know what, I was wrong. Edomites are still here. But he might say that they're black people. So-called black people. Okay. Oh, it says here, <laughs> Deuteronomy 21, verse 10. Domestic relations... Domestic, domestic meaning in the house. It says, when thou goeth forth to war against thine enemies, another nation, and the Lord thy power have delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, that slavery. Let's, hold up, let me see what the word captive means. To learn a little Hebrew. The word is. Shabaya. Which means captivity. Captives. Captivity. Act of capture. Captivity. Captivity, captive, prisoners, taken away, taken. Let me look at the root. Shabawa. Different, different meaning. So let's come back. Deuteronomy 20, verse 10. 
when thou goest to war against enemies in the Lord thy power hath delivered them into thine hands, your hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seest, 11 verse, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, meaning a woman of the other nation. Can we deal with women of the other nation? You got damn right. I'm reading the law. And has a desire unto her, meaning you find her beautiful and attractive, and you want to do something to her, that thou would have have her to thy wife. Let's look up the word wife. Let's look up the word wife. This is two lessons in one. We're learning the scriptures and we're learning the Hebrew. It said the word there is Asha. It should be it should the word there should be Ayash or Ayash Ayasha there should be a Ya in between the A and the Sha as you can see right here even in Arabic if you ask them how do you say man in, in, in Arabic or in, in this case woman they would say Aisha Aisha which they're saying man in the feminine sen sense a man in Hebrew is Ay Ayash a woman would be Ayasha, meaning man in the feminine sense, meaning a woman. So let's keep going down. I said, take thee to wife, right? It says woman, wife, female, woman, uh, opposite of man, a wife, woman married to a man, female of animals, each, every, Uh, noun, female, woman, wife, female, Arabic, if you can read the Arabic, the word is Aisha, for those of you that can read Arabic, and you said, well, where'd you learn that from? I spoke to an Arab guy years ago, and I said, how do you say woman in, in uh, Arabic? He said, Aisha. I said, well, that's Hebrew for Ayasha. Ay So that becomes your woman. Let's come back. Let's come back again. So now we're in the 12th verse. Deut Deuteronomy 21 verse 12. When thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head. Now you can't go into her in the case of war. You have to let her mourn for 30 days. It says, Then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, whether she likes it or not, and she shall shave her head and pare her nails, and she shall put the remnant of her captivity off, off of her. And what does that mean? Whatever heathenistic dress code they... they practice they got to put on Hebrew type garments so now the question is should these uh, other nations have fringes on them in the kingdom they're going to have fringes because they're going to have to remember to keep the laws and she shall put the remnant of her captivity from, from off her and shall remain in thine house and be well her father and her mother because they were killed uh, a full month I said 30 days, a full month. And after that, thou, you shall go in unto her. Going unto her, meaning you shall ha have sex, whether she likes it or not. If she likes it, it's all, it's all good. If she doesn't like it, because you killed her parents, well, that's all good too. That's called, that's called rape. And be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. So are we going to have wives... Of the other nation? Yeah. Now the only time we're not to have wives of another nation is with the Canaanites. 
Deuteronomy uh, the seven, and it shall come to pass. I'm sorry, and it shall and it shall be if if thou if thou have no delight in her, you pop you you popped her a couple of times inside joke, and you don't you ain't feeling it no more. I said then thou and there's laws on that, and thou shalt then thou shalt let her go, whether she will that you can go about your business. I don't want you no more, so bye. But thou shalt not sell her at all for money. You're not supposed to sell her to be a slave. You let her go free. So that's the law. That's what uh, vocab said. They said there's laws uh, dealing with war, war situations. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her. You know that once you don't deal with her, you let her go. She, you don't own her no more. If you like dealing with her, then you keep her in your house, whether she likes it or not. She has no say in the matter because thou has humbled her. And the word humbled, humbled, now it said going unto her, right? Meaning whether she likes it or not. If she likes it, it's all good. If she don't like it, too, too bad. That's called rape. It says because thou has humbled her. Let's look up the word humble. And I guarantee you the word in the Hebrew is aina. Let's see. The word is ai, aina yatha or aina. Aina. A6031. It means to put down, become low, to be depressed. Uh, to be cast down, uh, to to be occupied, be bruised with, to afflict, oppress, humble, be afflicted, be bowed down, to be afflicted. So take, in other words, take it by force. Uh, Gen Genesis uh, 15 verse 13. And he said, Unto Abram, know of a surety that thy seed, the Israelites, because Abraham had many seed, seeds, but, he, but it's talking about specifically Israel, shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. That's talking about ancient Egypt, not America, and shall serve them, and they shall, the, the Egyptians shall afflict them. 86031, meaning take them down by force, afflict them. Make them bow down for 400 years. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.